with me now, I have Gavin Olson from Olson Landscapes, our gardening guru for this week. Gavin, good morning. Morning, Mel. Now, you are going to tell me what I should be turning my attention to in the garden this week. Uh, generally, it's quite a good idea to start planning, even for summer. Um, and then actually taking in all the autumn colours that's going on at the moment. There are some beautiful photos popping up on Instagram, uh, particularly down south, of all those gorgeous autumn leaves falling off the trees. Oh, lovely. Eh? Yeah, I love it. They're just absolutely stunning. Yeah. Uh, we were talking just before, actually, off camera about um, inspiration, because I was saying, I need some inspiration for my garden. I'm not mm. quite sure where to look. But I see things in magazines and stuff. Should I be doing something with all those yeah. pictures I'm seeing? Part of your planning process, it's actually good to go and um, grab a magazine, um, even just see what your neighbours are doing, or... Um, yeah, just and cut some of the pictures out and maybe even start scrapbooking it, dare I say it. Um, and then you can actually go and fire them away and actually start thinking about what you're going to do in summer. Yeah, or Pinterest. Or Pinterest, Wouldn't I love that. That, that yeah. would be really good. So I'm just going to hang on. So I've got a magazine here. Okay, so that's nice. I like that grass there. So I'd cut that out, stick it on my, on my wish board or on my, in my scrapbook. Yeah. Let's see if you can go and research it. Does it fit in my garden? Will it grow in my garden? Or get those sort of designs. Or maybe do I like the oriental style? Do I yeah. more like this style or that? That's what right. What are you doing at the moment in your garden? In my garden, it's right? It's like a builder's house in a mechanic's car. Uh, no, no. We've got a, you know, we've got a large big fire pit area. We've got, a, you know, terrace veggie gardens. We've got chickens. We've got bees. We've got, yeah, You've we're got doing. Going on. Yeah, in, in, a, in a city living. So, yeah. Wow, so you've got bees in your inner city living? Yeah, sure do, yeah. Bees are great. I have no problem with bees whatsoever. So, if we are in the garden and uh, we're raking up all those beautiful autumn leaves, can we be using them for some good or do we just need to ch chuck them in the bin or burn them? Leaves on your lawn, you want to get rid of them straight away so it doesn't kill off your lawn. Um, and you can leave most of the leaves on your garden as long as they're not uh, up against your stems of your plants, so that will kill it off. The rest of it, any excess, you can put in a little pile, put a bit of grass clippings with it, and it'll turn it into compost slowly. Um, I, th I thought that lawns actually did die in winter, or is that just my lawn? Lawn? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, someone's been doing something wrong. <laughs> so, so the leaves, so I should take them off the grass? Off the grass, yeah. That's okay. Sure. What about the trees? They're all naked and they look very naked at the moment. Is there anything I should, should I be pruning them? Should I be doing anything? No, not a good time to be pruning your trees. Um, just, just because it's so wet and damp out there can cause rot um, on your trees and, and they're, they're going into, a, some of the trees are going dormant at the moment so you don't want to shock them. So. Except it's a weird sort of, sort of spring change or it isn't really because one of my That's plum right. trees has got some green growth at the top and the leaves falling off at the bottom but that's mm. the whole global warming thing isn't it so what time of year should you be starting to prune your trees then uh, end of winter you can start up um, it all depends on what type of tree it is but um, uh, and then just planning for uh, same thing but planning for what you're going to do in summer is a good start yeah okay, so rake your garden plan for what you're going to be doing in summer use your fire pit if you've got one at the moment because it's a perfect weather for it yep. if I w what would be my advantages of if I've got my scrapbook of getting an actual professional in to help me with the garden uh, just because every garden's unique and different t types and um, people around the country got their own styles that they like so mm. hiring a professional just just combines all those ideas that maybe yourself has and then you can combine it with myself or another professional um, and then you can get a beautiful flowing design garden out of it um, and yeah just getting the areas right really so structure right uh, planting right and that's why I'd Indoor hire outdoor it. flow Ooh. that's the one thing I do know <laughs> hey Gavin it's been a pleasure having you in thank you so much got some things to be doing in the garden this weekend